Hey guys, Godslayer here, and today we'll be going over the small unit tactics of the recently deceased Iranian General Soleimani's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, or also known as the IRGC, came into existence after the Iranian Revolution during 1979. The Revolutionary Guard is intended to protect the country's Islamic Republic political system and its interests. The methods used to protect those interests will be dissected into fireteam and squad tactics in today's video. The IRGC utilizes a hybrid doctrine, a doctrine that combines both conventional and unconventional methods. To put it in layman's terms, a strict rule set that combines both guerrilla tactics and uniformed military tactics. It disallows moving backwards except to improve to a better position to attack. It implies that enemy forces should be surrounded when they attack and ambush as they retreat. The IRGC operates in a decentralized control and decentralized command environment. To win consistently, its frontline soldiers must be able to make many of their own decisions. An IRGC squad consists of a squad leader, a sniper, a two-man RPG team, and three four-man fire teams. On a battlefield, all are separated slightly and move semi-independently. To the rear of the loosely formed formation is a squad leader. His job is to look over the battlefield with binoculars and try to spot unforeseen trouble rather than following or giving orders. This is called a recon pull, a similar method that the 1918 German stormtroopers used. The fire teams are slightly abreast, with one fire team leading the push. While the riflemen in each fire team are deployed shoulder to shoulder, none are firing their AK-47s. There is no machine gun to provide covering fire. Such a procedure is complicated enough to require rehearsal, and this makes it a technique. While far from state of the art, it does contain advanced elements. Any sound during an assault erodes the element of surprise, but heavy small arms fire completely forfeits it. Instead of normally using a machine gun for covering fire during this modified fire and movement approach, the IRGC use a lone sniper to cover their movement. Rather than the riflemen firing indirectly to keep the enemy's heads down, the riflemen are instead waiting for well-defined targets. Like the sniper, the RPG team is at the edge of the formation. His occasional shot might sound like a stray mortar or an accidental mine to an enemy down the line and thus evokes no response from the enemy. The fire teams are completing a leapfrog fire and movement approach, all coming together to initiate a final assault with the lead fire team in the front. When combined, they produce an accelerated deliberate attack, one that is more effective than a textbook hasty attack. While this IRGC squad might not be equal to a German stormtrooper squad, it can still spearhead a maneuver force. That is something its under-rehearsed western counterpart cannot do. If you ended up liking the video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Thank you for watching.